Hi everyone, um, I'm back with a new journal to share. I've got a new phone, so it's wider than my old one, and so my little setup doesn't want to hold it, so it's going to be kind of a weird angle. Um, I've actually recorded this journal once before, and I don't qualify for live anymore, and the upload wouldn't work, so I'm going to try it again. This is a journal using... Um, Elizabeth from Elsie Bell's Bookshelves Soul Garden. Um, I actually split the kit into two journals. I showed one um, probably like a month or two ago and it was more of like reds and blues whereas this one's more pinks and purples. So it kind of split it up that way. So this one is very girly pretty um, and her her digitals you can get them printed now so you can either download them or print them and this image right here actually did not come with the kit but I had already decorated the journal before I did the cover and used up all the pieces and um, I thought it went really well and then I just got some avocado dyed cheesecloth this I cut off a tag I wanted to use this I got from Malia this is some fabric I got an antique store it's sewed in with some purple thread and it's got some um, really pretty purple seam binding. So let's go ahead and just get right on into it. I like all the frilly sticking out at the top. And I left the bottom edge frayed because I liked the look of that. But I mean if you don't you could always just trim it. But I thought it was pretty. Let me see if I can get this positioned right. And this is the only... Um, this is the only page that didn't come from the kit. Again, I had already made up all the signatures and everything when I um, thought about the cover. Sorry if I'm kind of out of it. I have been really sick for like over a week now. My boys have been sick. I went sick. So I'm kind of kind of out of it. <laughs> but this is the only full page that did not come in the kit. Um, I put this lace pocket here that I got from an antique store, and I think this is Digital Curio. Um, it's very textured and pretty. I had a couple of circles left over from her kit, Elizabeth's kit. Um, again, at Elsie Bell's bookshelf, and I just tucked those into the pocket to play with. Um, this journal is actually really stuffed, so you could honestly, either if... If you wanted, you could take all the ephemera out and probably have enough to decorate another journal or maybe even two. There's a lot of stuff in it. Like if you wanted this one just for writing or you wanted it less bulky, there's a lot you can take out. And this is one of the beautiful images from her kit. Uh, it's a very, very pretty kit with all these, like, um, um, I can't think of the word I want to use, but it's very um, botanical, na nature botanical. And it's got these pretty little quotes on it. And then over here, um, this is a different kit of Elizabeth's. They're like seed packets. She's got them in her shop. And I use these throughout. Um, but this big one was actually a freebie off of a Facebook page. But they go together perfectly. So I just added some lace. And these, I used some of these in here, and I believe these are also Elizabeth's. I got them um, in a de-stash from her, but I think she has these on her shop. And again, I just put some lace on the bottom of those so you can journal on the back of that. And I love this background paper that she has right here. It's got lines, and it almost looks like eco-dyed flowers on it, but they're in purple. It's very pretty. And here is an avocado dyed doily. I'm out of frame again. Sorry, this is a weird angle. And a little flower. This is some um, coloring book paper, but it's got this really pretty, like, metallic pink, and you could color it in if you wanted. Some vintage lace. This cool little envelope pocket comes in the kit. And then I got a couple tags from the kit. And here's this, just opens up so you can have some more journaling space and then you can write on these tags as well um, both of these come in her kit this one has some um, um, seam binding and a really pretty purple and this has some like ombre colored sari and everything in this um, journal has been inked in this um, pink P everything that I inked specifically for this journal is inked in pink, but I did use some stuff from my stash that is um, inked in gathered twigs. That's what I normally ink everything in. So that's all just tuck in there. 
got some more avocado dyed paper and it flips out and there's just some lace and a little stamp with some pretty florals um some green paper this i actually got in a d stash from elizabeth it's food coloring dyed paper it's really pretty i got some vintage lace a vintage ticket this ticket and this flower come in the kit very pretty and there's that beautiful image again and it might look like the same image but they have different backgrounds this one has the lines and this one has the doilies so they are different very pretty this also comes in the kit and this paper right here i've actually used on a lot of backgrounds because it's beautiful it's got like florals and flourishes and um sorry just a second let me sorry about that um but it's got the lines and then it's got this green color and then it's got the faint designs it's really pretty this is an avocado dyed glassine bag that i used some inca gold on and this i believe is tlc creates vintage but i thought it went really well with the kit and then i put this pretty uh, pink lace on it that kind of has like a iridescent to it so you can journal on that a vintage book page with some florals on it um over here this came in the kit i just added some lace and here's another one of those images that i said i got from the d stash that i believe are hers and that's just a large journaling card. On the other side, there is a tag that I made. Um, I just uh, made a tag out of book page and craft paper and um, stenciled it. And then there's more craft paper. And then this white piece right here comes in the kit, this label. And this button comes in the kit. And then just some Tim Holtz flower. And this fabric right here, I think I got from Selena at more Fabrics. So again, you can, sorry, moving it around, you can journal on that. Oh, and then it's just got some pretty green eyelash trim, some vintage music paper. This scrap paper I also got from a D step, or I got in um, one of her Halloween um, bunk of junk design team packages, and I really liked it. Coffee dyed, really pretty. I think that's the last piece of it that I have. This also came in the kit. It was just like a random piece and I um, used my funky scissors on it and inked it up as kind of like a label or you could put a date there or something. Here's another gorgeous page from the kit. I love the roses in the background. Again, sorry if I seem out of it. I, I am trying to get over the sickness, but I tried to upload this like over a week ago and lost it. So... Now I am trying it again. Another beautiful image from the kit. These pretty bags. Um, I actually got these bags from Aaliyah and I'm having a lot of fun using them. I believe that Elizabeth also has these in her shop as well though. Some washi just to re reinforce the pocket. And this is just a random piece from my stash that I had left over. You could turn on. Um, here's another one of her like little like seed packet type floral images from another kit and this is from Jessica and I'm a cool mom but I thought it matched really well and I just added some lace everything's been coffee dyed this is a uh, Kool-Aid dyed this little circle came in the kit and then I just have these little floral images from a vintage book page some graph paper this label came in the kit so I thought you could, you know, label and then use the page to write on. This ruffle right here, um, most of the ruffles that I use, um, Aaliyah made me. We did a swap a while back, and I love using her ruffles. But this one actually came from Lisa Jameson. Uh, when I bought one of her journals, she sent me a few of those. And I thought the colors went perfect for this. Another pretty image. I love this flower. I think it's so pretty. And it says, to please my soul. And this tag is in the kit, which I absolutely love. I love the image and I love the shape of it. So this kit comes with two different shaped tags. You've got the tags like this that, you know, have the straight edges, but then you also have the curved ones and they're just really pretty. And it's fun to have the two different kinds to use. And then I just put some like ombre sorry on it. And there's that background paper again. This I got from Aaliyah vintage receipt 
And then this is one of Tracy Fox's little seed packets. And I thought it went really good with this kit. And then there's just some coffee dyed paper to write on. And they both just tuck into that tag. Um, oh, sorry. I Her kit comes with a lot of ephemera. But since I divided it into two journals, that's why I also mixed other stuff from the stash. But there is a ton to play with. Some um, ledger paper I got from Aaliyah. Some avocado dyed paper. This ticket came in the kit. There's that um, vintage floral book page. And then it comes with a little envelope. I'll show you this side first. This is also from um, one of her kits. It's not from Soul Garden, but she has these really pretty floral images in her shop. And I added some lace and inked it up. And I like how when I coffee dyed it, the flowers kind of came through a little bit. And the kit comes with this envelope. I just paper clipped on top. And um, I had made up some of these altered playing cards forever ago. And I was going to alter them some more, and I just have so many of them, but I thought the purple and the flowers went well, so I stuck some in here. So you could take these out and alter them more, or do whatever you want with them. Sorry, my boys are playing. And then um, some coffee dyed paper on the back of that. And then it just, I think I had it like this. Hold on just a second, guys. Boys, I'm recording. Stop, please. Shh. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, and then that just tucks back up in there. There's that really pretty image from her kid again. And this is all out purple on this page. Um, this tag right here came in the kit, and I put it at the top, the eyelash sticking out. I thought that was fun. There's that really pretty background with the purple, like, eco printing on it. This, I made a bunch of these when I did the Pink Odd Bird Challenge, and I had just a bunch laying around, but I thought the purple went pretty. And then I also added some purple trim down here. This is some vintage stationery that I actually got from... It's like a fuzzy in there that I actually got from my mom and it coffee dyed so pretty. I actually wish that I had some more of this, but I think she only had like four sheets or something. Stamped a little flower there in pink. This I got in a de-stash from Elizabeth. And this pocket right here isn't from Soul Garden, but it is from another one of Elizabeth's kits. So I actually used pieces from several different different kits of hers. Um, there's Soul Garden, and then there's like three, the seed packet, the florals, this one, this one, I believe. It's that piece from the d stash again. And then I've got some pieces from other people, but most of the stuff is from her shop. This is a little booklet from Artie Mays, but I liked the purple flowers. Added some purple lace down here, and I think it looks pretty on the other side also. This, I had also made a bunch of these when I did the Pink Hot Bird Challenge and had a stack of them, so I just glued it down. It's a book page that's been decoupage, added some lace, and I thought it was kind of funny when I was flipping through this that this lace is the same lace that she used right here on her little collage printable, so I thought that was kind of funny. Here's another one of the tickets from the kit, and I added some yellow lace down here. And behind it, this actually came out of a book that my mom gave me. It's for making like those mason jar, like soups. Like you put the ingredients in it and then you give this to them and they can, you know, make it up. But I liked how this, you know, you could journal on this and I liked the ivy on it and it said love soup. So I thought that would be something fun to add. And then I've got these. It's got a lilac on it. I actually seen Nikki at Musings by Nikki using these, and I've been hooked on them ever since. Boys, can you please be quiet for just a few minutes? Sorry about that. Here is another one of the floral images. Let 
I, I was trying to get this recorded before my oldest son gets home because once he's home, they, uh, they get pretty noisy together. I mean, they're just playing, but it sounds like they're, they're hurting each other, but I promise you they're not. <laughs> An avocado dyed doily, some coffee dyed lined paper, another really pretty image from her soul garden kit. This little disc comes from her kit. There's another one of these little flip-ups that's been stamped and decoupaged. And this, I believe, is also TLC Creates Vintage. And I just added some purple lace. I like how the color kind of bled right there when it coffee dyed. It's kind of pretty. This is a long envelope. And I embossed the end and then um, used some distressing on it. This is the tag that I had to cut down to fit in there. And I used the growth from the end, but you can still see the word in the definition. Added some eyelash trim, and it just tucks right in there. And this page is kind of funny, because when I very first started um, making junk journals, I mean, it's been like two years now, but when I very first started, um, I was soaking everything. Like, now I lay out all these trays, and I brush it, and I let it air dry, but before, I had this big clear container and I would soak everything and I was going through all my stuff just pulling out random things that I could coffee dye and this was actually out of a coloring book I had colored this for like forever ago and I had went through the coloring book and pulled out some of the pages and coffee dyed them and all of the color of course ran off of it but I thought it was so pretty on the back and it actually ran onto some book pages in there which looked really really pretty but it still has some color. It's way fainter than it used to be, but I still think it's pretty. And I love I love the color on the back, so I just added a little washi because I didn't want to cover that up. Here's another one of her little like seed packet type floral images from that other kit. This is another one from Jessica, and I just added some lace. And then this is some avocado dyed paper. And then this is another freebie like on the cover but I think they match really well with hers here's another one of her floral images that she has in her shop another one of these receipts from Aaliyah thank you Aaliyah and I just tuck up in there some pink paper get some purple lace I'm out of frame this is um, from Tracy Fox and then just a little flower down there just a little collaging the stamp, and this stamp did not come out perfect, but I still thought it was cute, so I decided not to cover it up. Really pretty page. I love, I love this kit. It's very beautiful. There's that eco dyed looking background paper again. A really old floral dictionary page. Some coffee dyed line paper. Here's another one of her little florals. And then this is also Tracy Fox, I think. And I put May in there because they say April showers bring May flowers, so I thought that was appropriate. And then over here, I have this just um, wrapped around like so. It's another one of those little booklets from Artie Mays. I love this one. It's probably my favorite. I love the colors of it. I used this kit a while back and really liked some of these and printed out extras to use. This is from another one of Elizabeth's kits. She has these really cool like bank notes and they have these beautiful florals on it. So I added that. And on the other side, and this is food coloring dyed paper. And on the other side, I have another one of those definition tags with some pretty pink lace and it's been printed on coffee dyed paper. And then you just take this and slip it back on. And paper clip it. I should probably do all this off camera. Sorry. Like I said, I'm just really not with it quite yet. <laughs> but I'm trying to get it get it done. And then on the other side, you just slip this one in. And I love this rose. Isn't that beautiful? I did, um, since it's like towards the middle of the signature, it did cut off some of the word. Because when you make one signature of this fat, you know, it gets thinner as you go in. So, unfortunately, it kind of cut off the E, but it's still a beautiful image. And then I really liked this page, so I did not want to cover it. I thought it was beautiful on its own. 
with the beautiful flowers and doily and all of that. The only thing that I did not plan for though is I was using this purple thread to bring out the purple and the flowers on the cover. And it doesn't really have any purple on here, but I think it's still okay. Another pretty image from the kit. This is the back side now. Another one of those pretty rounded tags. Um, food coloring deck paper. I really wish my original video would have gone through because I was definitely more together on it. This is another one of Elizabeth's floral images. And again, you can um, order these digitally or she will ship them to you. And this is also from another one of her kits. So I used even more of her kits than I thought because I used the banknotes and the postcards and the florals and the seed packets, the soul garden. <laughs> it's a whole mixture of Elizabeth. Um, but she has these really cute um, postcards with these florals and butterflies on them. They're very pretty. So I added one of those in here and they just tuck behind the tag. And then the circle came from the kit. And behind it we have another one of those TLC um, images with some lace on it. And then just this little file folder. This one was not coffee dyed, so I kind of inked it up with the pink that I was using, but it has like a floral on it, so I thought it went well. Let me just stick it in there. Coffee dyed line paper with another pretty little flower. That vintage book page. There's that background paper again. Very, very pretty. I like the little letters on the side showing through. Some pink paper with just a little washi and a flower, and this flips open. And this was is some Tim Holtz paper. I actually had just like a cut off piece of it laying there, and I thought it'd be fun to fussy cut it and glue it on this avocado dyed paper. So I thought that was pretty and went well. This is um, from those random pieces that I told you I thought were from Elizabeth's shop. And it flips up so you can journal there and journal there. There's the back of that um, coloring book page that bled through. Some washi. Uh, this side has also been embossed and distressed. And I made a tag out of a piece of that scrap. This is the only one that I'm not for sure of. I think that Elizabeth has these in her shop. But like I said, I got them in a de-stash. So I'm not 100% sure on those ones but it was like a full sheet and I cut it up and did a bunch of different things with it this came in the kit this background paper came in the kit and I also like to use it because it just looks like coffee dyed lined paper so it's per it'll go with anything so it's perfect for using as background I love this page it's so pretty she really has some beautiful kits the pages are pretty they're full of ephemera you get tons of pieces to go with it and she gives you envelopes and tags and pockets and all kinds of goodies there's another little flower stamp avocado deck doily and here is another one of these like little graph squares that came in the kit which i think are really pretty and behind it i have a specimen collection piece that you can journal on or you know put a dried flower on or something and then this I actually got from the D stash from Elizabeth, um, a sewing pattern, but it had the flower, so I thought it'd be cute to stick in here. Like I said, this journal is full of ephemera. Here's another one of her little, um, like, collage printouts. And I just, I have some scrap coloring book page, and this one's like metallic gold, so you can color that. And then it's stamped with the flower and butterflies, some purple lace. And then over here is another one of her little seed packet type um, things. And then behind that I have, this is the only thing I didn't ink because I felt I didn't want to take away from the green because it kind of brings the green out in the flowers. So I left that one blank. And this one I got um, forever ago. I think these are from Christy Art Designs, I believe, but I thought it went well too. Like I said, I have a few just random pieces for my stash that I stuck in. Two stash from Elizabeth. This tag came in the kit. There's that beautiful um, stationery. And here's her pretty, like, eco dead looking background paper. Love this flower. It's so, so, so pretty. 
Hold on, sorry, stuff keeps popping up. Love that. I think it's really pretty. Why does my garden grow? And that's what that first one I said to please my soul. Why does my garden grow to please my soul? Here is another one of those really cool rounded tags. I really, they weren't as fun to cut out because I am terrible at cutting circles, but I think they're definitely worth it because they were cute. And it's got the same beautiful flower on it. And then I have this flower trim and it was a little too wide. I didn't want to cover up the image. So I just cut off the top row of these little bobbles, put it on the bottom, added this pink trim. Sorry about that. Um, here's some more of that coloring book paper with the flowers on it so you can journal on the back and color it Here's another one of those random pieces and here is another one of her pretty postcards It's red. It's not pink, but I think it's still cute and I kind of covered up the red so you can't see it Let me just tuck back behind and then over here, I have a fabric envelope that Aaliyah made, and I've actually never glued them down before. Normally, I paper clip them, but I thought it'd be fun to glue it. So, it's just Velcroed, and there's another one of those altered playing cards in there that I had decoupaged on. So, like I said, you could take it out and um, finish altering it if you wanted. Here is another one of her pretty... Boys, can you please be quiet? Hey, I'll be done as soon as I can, okay? Just a few more minutes. Sorry about that. Here's another one of those bank notes with the pretty florals. I love these. I think they are just super cute. So I stuck that in. I love the colors of the flowers on this fabric too. And then here is a large file folder. Um, and it's been printed on coffee dyed paper. And then it's got the flowers in it too. So you could journal in this or put stuff in it or, you know, whatnot. And then I just had this. Um, I had decoupaged a piece of a napkin on this coffee dyed little index thing. And I just stuck it in. I thought the colors, colors went well. So you got the pot, you got the envelope pocket, and then you have the stuff behind it. A vintage book page with florals. Here's another one of those um, circles from um tracy fox another little vintage book page image i had some strips I had some strips laying around that i just used some avocado dyed paper another little floral stamp this is the stamp before that i said didn't turn out all the way there it is um there's the rest of that graph paper there's that beautiful background paper i absolutely love using this it's so pretty a pretty pink flower again here is another one of these where from Artie Mays that I paper clipped over the side so like I said most everything in here is removable like you could take all that out you could take all that out that out you could unpaper clip these there's a lot of ephemera in here that can be removed but this is another one of those little booklets from Artie Mays and this is actually another one of Elizabeth's kits and they're like little envelopes with flowers and a little flower stamp. So those are super cute to use. And then on this side, I have another one of her beautiful postcards. So she actually has a lot of really pretty floral stuff in her shop. If you were looking for florals, she's got postcards, envelopes, bank notes, you name it. She's got all kinds of flower stuff. Very pretty. And then those, again, just tuck back behind there. Some graph paper that opens up. And another one of those pretty little butterflies from Aaliyah. Um, this stamp, again, didn't come through all the way, but it's like a little garden stamp in pink. Here is another one of those, I believe, are from Christie Art Designs. And this is the cutoff from that flower trim. And I actually just stuck this up there to show that it was a pocket, so you could leave it out. I mean, it probably looks better without, but... Just kind of stuck it up there. You can have it. <laughs> uh, Tim Holtz floral stamp. This is food coloring dye paper. There's the back of that bag. And I ran this pretty pink trim down the side. And then here is another one of her bank notes. It's got really pretty coloring. And it's even brighter, but I copy dyed it. So it, it toned it down a little bit. 
but if you were to print it on paper that was already coffee dyed or normal paper it would be you know it wouldn't have like the little spots like that but i kind of like it because i think it makes it look more old when it kind of runs in spots and stuff and also with this big one this would be a good one to like fold in half for like a little booklet but i wanted to keep it keep it whole and it just slides right into the bag for a large journaling card there's that beautiful rose image again i love it it's so pretty and i love this page too there's something about roses they're just so pretty there's that printed graph paper this is tracy fox i was gonna do a collage and then it was gonna be a pocket somehow it turned into a belly band <laughs> vintage ticket in there but this one said, talked about seeds so i thought that was appropriate um music vintage music paper with some eyelash trim here is another one of those file folders and it's been paper clipped on the edge i wanted there to be more removable stuff in this one that's why a lot of the stuff is paper clipped because i do like to over embellish and i know not everybody wants that so I tried to um, paper clip some of them so that you could take a lot of it out. But here's another one of those really fun file folders with the flowers on it. And it's been printed with a coffee dyed print. And, and these paper clips are fun too. So if you unpaper clip everything, then you'll have uh, some fun paper clips to use. They're rose gold. And here's another one of those definition tags with garden. I think the other one was growth and I can't remember. the other one might be nature I try to keep them all kind of related book page um this I, I don't know if I'm gonna leave this in here I haven't decided um this is the avocado dyed um embossed glassine and I was looking for something to stick in here because I had ran out of ephemera and I had this paper laying there so I, I had cut it and inked it but I don't know. I think I don't know if it is like too bright or not. I guess I will just leave it in there. And if you don't like it, you can just take it out and do what do what you will with it. I don't know if it really goes with the flow of the rest. I think it might be a little too bright. I just like I said, I don't know. Here's that beautiful background paper again. Love, love, love that image. I love all of them. I know I keep saying that, but they're all so beautiful. Like that one that one that pink one i mean they're just so pretty the rose here's that fun food coloring paper i got from elizabeth it's, and i put a little bee on there i had been stamping all flowers but bees like flowers so i thought he was still appropriate he or she some green paper some avocado dye paper here is one of the little tags that come in the kit again used as a pocket but like I said, you could take all this stuff out and then you'll have a lot less stuff in here. Here, I think these are from the old design shop. The library cards that look like they've been coffee dyed. Here's another one of her really pretty little um, like floral envelope cards. And this, I think, is also Christie Art Design. I had just a bunch of random pieces left from when I bought a bunch of her kits. And I thought they would go great in this journal. There is the back of that pretty pink metallic um, coloring book page of color dyed doily, the beautiful background paper, pretty image, and then again there is the lace pocket, and I got another one of these little decoupage flip ups, and a little file folder, and I thought this color, this file folder, matched perfectly with these flowers on here. I thought that was cool. They're like the exact same color. So I put that in there and then it just ties up that is it guys we got some eyelash oh, got some eyelash trim sticking out all over some vintage fabric collage closes with some seam binding um I hope that you guys enjoyed the journal and we'll check out Elizabeth's shop and I will talk to you guys later thanks bye